A jury has ruled against former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin. The jury has rejected Sarah Palin's libel claim against The New York Times, saying there was insufficient evidence to prove that The Times defamed her in a 2017 editorial. What is this trial about? Well, it goes way back to 2017. So she says that a 2017 New York Times editorial falsely linked her to a mass shooting in Tucson, Arizona. The editorial was published after a shooting in Alexandria, Virginia, in which Steve Scalise, a member of House Republican leadership, was wounded. And the Times said that the Tucson shooting in which six people were killed and a Democratic Congresswoman Gabby Giffords was severely injured came after Palin's political action committee circulated a map putting 20 Democrats, including Giffords under stylized crosshairs and that the link to political incitement was clear. This is a situation where I mean, people don't, I mean, they really, really need to realize that the rhetoric and firing people up and, you know, even things, for example, we're on Sarah Palin's targeted list. But the thing is that the way that she has it depicted has the crosshairs of a gun sight over our district. And when people do that, they've got to realize there's consequences to that act. As many of you are aware, earlier today, a number of people were shot in Tucson, Arizona including several who were meeting at a supermarket with their congresswoman, Gabrielle Giffords. Uh, we are still assembling all the facts, but we know that Representative Giffords was one of the victims. That's a huge scandal. Yeah, it wasn't a mini scandal, it was a huge scandal. And it was one of the first moments where we saw that the, the the base that the right was cultivating was so off their you know stuff that <laughs> That they actually might have looked at that map, saw crosshairs, and were like, "Yeah, I got a gun. Let's go." Mm -hmm. And 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 we saw that. So it was kind of one of those moments that I think a lot of people who study, whether it's media or politics or or, or anything, or just alive and care, can point to. Okay, there is a direct consequence when you put out incendiary material like that. When you put a yeah. crosshair over someone and then you say, oh, I was just joking. Oh, that was just a political crosshair. So it's weird to me that Sarah Palin would almost dredge that up in 2017 um, because it almost brings more shine and attention to what she did. Mm -hmm. That's true. Look, I, I don't I feel like maybe we'll disagree on this. I think that in theory, in a different political time coming from a different political person representing a different political party, doing the crosshairs wouldn't necessarily be the worst thing. You're targeting the people, preferably not to be shot. But the issue is that this is America where we take politics so seriously that many people are increasingly willing to literally murder or at least cheer the murdering of their political opponents. This is coming from a party that even before the more explicit turn to constantly invoking violence in connection with politics has made guns into their own religion. Like when you do that and you put out this message with the crosshairs to people that love guns more than literally life itself, 